on the first day, on the first week, not the first day, of the first semester that I'm seeing the first year students for the first time. They're all in the hall. The number there was 215. Here the advice I give them. I normally would go to the board and ask, or I will go and I point, and I, this is such a good question you asked. I will ask, I point to somebody, why are you here? Sir, uh, to become a physician, someone else. Why are you here? Sir, I was accepted to this med school. Why are you here? Uh, you know, sir, um, my parents want me to be a doctor. Different reasons. And then I'll go to the board and I'll write this. This is why you're here. Well, in India, you know, it's different, but I'm talking to US, this is why you're here. So this is the advice to make that very short that I give them. You're doing anatomy, you're doing these subjects in the beginning. How can you start mastering? There are two ways of learning. There are two forms of learning. Now, as you can see, I spend a lot of my time studying the mind, you know, the psychology of learning. I wrote a couple of papers on this. What is called passive learning and active learning. Passive learning, this is when I listen to a lecture and I read a book. That's passive learning. Now, what's active learning? So this is listen and read. Active learning, this is when I do, I apply. In other words, the story I always say, if you want to learn to be a swimmer, you buy a book on how to swim. You memorize the book on how to swim. Doesn't mean you can swim. But you know the theory behind swimming. You cannot swim until you go into the water. And when you go into the water, guess what? You're not going to swim the first try. You're going to drink water, blah, 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 blah. But if you persist at it, then eventually the application of the theory comes in and you will swim. But if the first time you go in the water and you're drowning and you get up and you say, you know what, I'm not going back in the water, it's, 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 I'm scared. Well, you've just memorized a book on swimming, but you can't apply it. And you're no different in this case than what I call a donkey carrying books. You can put a hundred books on the back of a donkey, it doesn't make it intelligent and wise. Is the application of the knowledge in the books. So for you, very good question. From the very beginning of class, I tell my students, apply. How do we apply? Questions and answers. Every day, do five questions, USMLE type questions, on the subject matter you're studying. So if you're doing another three subjects, and I can't remember what you said, that means every day you do 15 to 20 questions from a USMLE sourced question bank. If you really, by the time you finish, if you do this every day, I guarantee you, by the time you finish second year, third year, you don't have to prepare for the USMLE. You write the exam and you score 240 right away. And that's why in America, we only give our students one month, three weeks to prepare for the USMLE. Three weeks to one month after second year. Not because they are smarter, the approach is smarter. Because from day one, they are doing the USMLE type questions. From day one, they are doing this. Not just memorizing the books the book on how to swim, that's irrelevant. Get into the water from day one. 